Hello trail travelers, this is Kerry. And in the last couple of videos, you saw that we took the back seat out of Optimus, we laid a shelf back there, we gave ourselves some more storage, and this is to help us on some big overlanding trips that we're doing uh, this year and next year that we have planned. But there's still more to the story because while we've increased the storage ability in here, what we haven't done is really addressed our long-term sleeping arrangements and additional storage. Well, yes, we have. And this is what we've done. This bad boy is the Tribe Trailers Overland Base Camp. So this is one hell of a beastie machine here. Over here, we've got a propane tank. We've got a water faucet. This thing has 17 gallons of water on board. It has a full pull-out kitchen. We have a pop-up tent. We've got an awning. We have off-road suspension. This thing is nuts. And why did we go with an overland trailer? Well, if we look at the different types of trailer systems that are out there for basically two people, it boils down to a couple options. You have your, your teardrops or your square drops, which are fine. And there are some really, really good off-road ones. And they were way up there on the top of our list of things to get. But when you're inside, they feel to us, and let me, let me say, they are perfect for some people. But I'm going to specifically talk about our decision to go this route. The teardrops and the square drops just felt claustrophobic inside to us. They're just really small. Even though they're like queen size beds inside, there just wasn't any room. You can't really get up easily and change your clothes. You, you kind of really need to go outside of it to do that. They just didn't really have what we wanted. They also didn't have storage. Well, we wanted more storage. We have trips that are planned that are over a week long. So we need to have plenty of storage. We need to have a kitchen. Well, some of them have kitchens, some of them don't. Some of them you have to take the stuff in or out of. So it, it just kind of depended. Well, the other option was the off-road pop-up tents. And those are fine. They, the thing about them is they open up and they have tons of room. I mean, there's like two queen-size beds. There's a dining table. There's a fridge. Some of them have showers and toilets in them. I mean, there's definitely nothing wrong with those. But on some of the things that we're going to do, we just felt that the interior storage on them wasn't really what we were looking for. And to be honest, the ones that we saw, the materials inside, while they would hold up to a dirt road or you know some of that type of stuff or, or getting into a dispersed camping site, what they didn't feel like they would do is hold up to seven, eight, 900 miles of off-roading. It just didn't seem like the right option. This thing absolutely will. Now, it is a, a rooftop tent that's on here. This is the Tough Stuff Overland Alpha. Amazing, amazing tent. And in another video, we'll do a complete like walkthrough of all the stuff that's on here. But it was this video is really about why we made the decision that we did. The pop-up trailers just didn't really seem like they were rugged enough for us. The square drops and the teardrops just didn't feel like they had the room that we wanted. So they just didn't do what we wanted to do, where this guy is absolutely perfect for our lifestyle. For our lifestyle. May not be for yours, but for our lifestyle, this thing is amazing. So like I said, I just wanted to kind of show you what the decision we made was and kind of uh, i'm not going to go over all the features that's a video into itself but we have a pull out kitchen we have tons of storage we have a section back here that pulls all the way out so you can have like two coolers up here we have flat pack storage for tables or solar panels if you wanted them all kinds of cool stuff up there the tent folds up out of that way this tent 
two minutes to set up, two minutes to set to take down. So really, really fast setup. Again, more storage, more storage. And I will show this one because any of the guys out there and some of the girls love tech. So this is the power center in here. We have a thousand watt inverter, a thousand amp hour battery, a uh, whole uh, power system in here, and it's pre-wired for solar panels. There's even a port on the back. You just plug your solar panels in and keep things running. We don't have solar panels yet. We don't really need them unless we start running a fridge in this thing, but man, this thing is loaded. Like I said, this is from Tribe Trailers. All these latches, super sturdy. Every single one of them has a lock on it. Super cool. And like I said, 17 gallons of fresh water, hand pump on this side, electric pump on the other with the kitchen. So super, super cool. But like I said, another video and we will do a complete walkthrough of this thing to show you what it's all about. But we are super excited that we finally made a decision and picked up something that we felt fit our lifestyle. So that's it, the Tough Stuff uh, Tribe Trailer Overland Base Camp our new overnight setup system. Thanks for watching everybody. This has been Carrie with Trail Traveler. We'll catch you on the trail. Bye-bye.